hi guys and welcome to another unboxing and first impressions. This time another model from Christopher Ward, but this one is rather special. So I'll just keep quiet until we open the box and then we're gonna talk about the watch itself. So just give me a minute to get all of these cut. There we go. It comes in a standard Christopher Ward packaging. Put that away. Slide the sleeve out. Here's the inner one. Move that away. Get the papers out. And here is the watch itself. And this one is really, really special. It just launched. And I was not allowed to, I'm recording this before the launch, but I was not allowed to discover it or show it until the launch itself. Let me just remove this. And here it is. Let me just zoom in the camera so we can see it in all of its glory. This is the new Christopher Ward Bel Canto, a limited watch, a limited edition watch, limited to 300 pieces only. It comes on a bracelet or the choice of two leather straps. Made out of titanium, 41 millimeters in diameter, 48 lug to lug, and 13 millimeters thanks to this highly domed sapphire crystal. The case is not the light catcher case, but it is very nice, very simple brushed finish with polished bevels, very simple bezel, again a combination of polished and brushed. The bracelet is solid links, solid end links, and a milled out clasp. The watch is pretty light because it's made out of titanium. The crystal, as you would expect, is sapphire with anti-reflective coating, but the real beauty is in the dial itself and the function that this watch offers. So Bel Canto is actually a chiming watch, meaning that it will chime every full hour. It's not a minute repeater, it's not gonna tell you the time, but it's like a chime function on a G-Shock, only done mechanically. The caliber used is called FS01, and they actually modified the caliber they did for their minute repeater watch. And apparently it took 50 more components added on top of that one to make this one. So let's wind it and see how it works. It doesn't come with a screwing crown and the movement itself is automatic because I believe this is based either on a Salida SW200 or the ETA 2894. 2824. Let me just wind it like so to get it going. And as you can see, you have this little indicator here, meaning that currently the chime is turned off and by pressing this lower button, you can turn it on and you just heard it. So this is off, this is on. I'll just try to be quiet so to let the camera catch it. There, and it's supposed to do that every full hour. So let's just adjust it. And as you can see, as it's going to the full hour, it's prepping the gong and then every full hour it's just gonna do that. Wow. The melody, or should I say the tone is very soft, but you're probably gonna be able to hear it once it's on your wrist, but it's very delicate. Let's do it again. Ha, very cool. Anyway, so like I said, this is the first time they've done anything like this. And I hope that this leads to creating a true minute repeater one day, although that's a completely different ball game and probably the pricing as well. Limited to 300 pieces, it's gonna cost just under $3,600, which is quite a lot, but once you take into consideration the additional complication they had to add and the fact that they claim all the bridges and hammers and everything here is hand finished. That's something we're gonna see once I do the full review with macro shots because like this, the watch really does look very impressive. It looks very high end and like it comes from a hot horology brand. So I can't wait to see under macro if the finishing is as good as they claim because then despite the $3,500 or $3,600 
price point, it's gonna be a bargain. Not a bargain, but pretty affordable. So anyways, like I said, this is just the unboxing and first impressions. So we're gonna put it on my wrist to see how it wears. But given it's 41 by 48, I should be okay. Now the bracelet wasn't sized for my wrist. And you have to make these kind of watches slightly larger because the main time is told only on this small section. So if the watch was too small, you couldn't read the time. As you can see, it is a large watch, but one that, can, that my 6.7 inch wrist can handle with no problems. Even the thickness is not that bad because the watch is curved. And like I said, a lot of the thickness comes from the domed sapphire crystal. The watch is beautiful. The blue dial or the sheen of the blue dial is very very nice and it really looks very 3d so it's very very deep once you're looking at it now i'll try to have the camera show you the gong it's uh, these lines here they're actually silver but they're black polished that's why they appear black or disappear but once i tilt the watch like this i don't know if you can see them now Look at it, starting there, going here, and then circling back all the way to the base. That's the thing that makes the sound. Very nice. The case back is closed, which is normal even on mini repeater watches because you want to create resonation towards the crystal, the sapphire crystal. So you don't want to have glass here. You want as much of the sound coming from the front. Very cool. Now we'll just do a loom shot next, although I didn't think this watch has loom and we're gonna find out pretty soon if this is loom or just paint. Also one other thing that I noticed is that the clasp now has that on the fly adjustment like the dive mo models on, the, on Christopher Ward which is a welcomed change or should I say a welcomed addition on any bracelet watch and you even have the halflings and full links. Anyways, let's charge the watch and see if it actually glows even though it makes a sound. Okay, with the watch charged, let's wait for the camera to focus and then turn off the light to see if this is actually loomed. There we go. And yes, it is loomed, and the loom is actually quite good considering the amount, I mean, how small the area is. It really glows well. Off camera, it's even better than on camera. Wow, that's amazing. Anyways, let's try to show that gong again because I believe in this camera setting you can see it more clearly. There. Very beautifully made watch. Wow. I can't wait to see this one under macro. Anyways, that's it when it comes to this unboxing and first impressions. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. And like I said, stay tuned for the full review to see just how well this watch looks under macro. Like this, it's really, really a stunner that looks much more expensive than it is. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.